Okay. So last uh, week hi. we a uh, hi, uh, Francis. Okay. So last week we have discussed about you know some um, some real time stuff which is related to uh, you know the the Splunk related things. Correct, right? Okay. Um, some logging issues, all those things we have discussed. But today what we are going to discuss is something different. It is like sometimes what happens, you are just notified that some issue is occurring in your organization, that you should be aware of it, but you don't have any control or on that. Like you don't require to do any sort of, you know, the, uh, you know, the raising the incident or you, know, you have to follow some things, but that kind of things will be happening in organization all the time every day okay but you are notified using like an alert or something like that but that doesn't make any sense that you are uh, you know like have to jump in and uh, start working with other team and you have to resolve it no no such things okay that kind of activities what it will be happening all those things we'll discuss now okay <clears throat> so for example if you have a company x okay so in that company X, usually what you'll be finding out, okay, you'll you'll find one router first, okay, and then after that, one firewall, okay, and after that, you will be having some other router, okay, router, internal router, okay. The first one is perimeter router, and the second one is kind of internal router, uh, and this internal router is connected to you know, various networks within the organization. Say, for example, here you have something called as a DMZ, okay? So to connect to the DMZ, first you'll be connecting to one firewall again. Okay, this is one firewall, okay? And this firewall in turn gets connected to one load balancer, okay? This is load balancer. Okay, I'll write the text to them in some time. Okay, I'll label them in some time. Okay, and then after that, that load balancer is connected to a switch and this switch in turn connects multiple machines. This is machine one, this is machine two, and this is machine three, and this is machine four. Okay, so many machines that you can connect to a switch. Okay, so these are all, you know, connected in this way. Okay, so these, this kind of topology, okay, yeah, from here to here. So now just let's label this. Okay, this one is perimeter. Okay, a router you can say, perimeter router you can say. Okay, uh, I don't know the spelling is correct or not. Okay, this is perimeter firewall. Okay, you might be having a switch or firewall, a switch or router here. I can say that is internal router. Okay, this is here. Let's just keep it here so that it will be more, you know, uh, this one. Okay, this is the internal firewall. Okay. And this is load balancer. Okay. And this is a switch. This switch is internal switch. Okay, and uh, it is connected with multiple systems. Okay, now our problem statement is within here itself or some other machine or just take it in that way. Some systems are here, some servers, okay. Forget about whether it is a DMZ or anything. It can be considered it as a private network or anything you consider, okay? Some internal network, okay? This is internal network. This is perimeter network, 
okay so this is the thing which divides from here to here this is uh, the perimeter network and from here to this entire part is internal this internal sometimes which is only towards public facing we call it as dmz and the same thing if it is the same configuration if it is here then that is internal itself but it is private it's not dmz okay and uh, like here also you can have multiple private networks uh, and dmz connected to your router that is also the 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 usual thing but now i just want to just open up your mind consider this is some network okay some network whether it is dmz or private network whatever it is okay but which is internally uh, or here okay so now what happened is uh, a person x okay uh, trying to connect from this is the internet okay your isp is also there in the internet okay because after your home router everything is uh, are your gateway you can say in offices okay everything is internet okay and uh, here are the customers somewhere they are trying to you know reach you or anything okay now <clears throat> if one person okay is trying to reach any of your servers which are uh, established or here right okay which are situated or here in this network internal network whether it is a private or it can be a dmz okay this person is trying to connect okay individually okay then it is like normal connections correct right normal it's not like any malicious intended user but if the same thing hundreds of users are the same guy itself or the same guy itself okay if the same guy itself sends hundreds of connection requests then what does it mean it is an attack Uh, Raghav, you are not audible.
okay so some audio glitch okay so let it be that's not a problem at all for us okay so let me put this again okay okay i hope uh, from here it will continue okay someone is waiting for oh no audio okay let it be so uh so if the attacker is somewhere in the internet okay so for example if the if if people are who are trying to access your services he or she is holding a computer okay and trying to send request to your system okay load balancer will decide to which system i have to share the load now okay because who is holding currently with how much capacity and based on that they will share it okay but what if if the same user okay is sending or if he is a malicious actor if he's sending thousand request or more than thousand request like like hundred thousand request okay still the load balance task is to share the load and to distribute it okay so 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 here you don't have any security mechanism in place to stop the traffic the load balancer's main task is to just share the number of requests that are coming just share the load that's it there is no one is going to stop it if you have some tool or hear that if i get in perimeter file firewall you are configured if i get 10 requests uh, within one minute from a single user okay just block the traffic that kind of configurations you can do it okay um, those correlations you can write it in the firewall which that is not our task which is not as a SOC team it is not our task but what if the attacker uh, comes to know that okay by default anyhow they are going to write this kind of correlation rules in the firewall so instead of that what i'll do is okay i'll do once uh, yeah what i'll do is i will create a malicious software okay and i will keep it for downloading in some internet or somewhere okay that people can download that softwares throughout the world okay and then once after they install it it can be some kind of you know video editing software or you know any pdf based softwares or it can be any applications uh, that you you'll use every day to day-to-day -day life like you know the cracked version softwares okay so those cracked version softwares you might have used it from the torrent somewhere like you know the internet okay so even the operating system also uh, you might have installed it okay some cracked version or something like that so what they will do is these guys are the like these small machines which install the the malicious software okay now they might be working for some botnet okay they are nothing but in a botnet botnet means okay the main system okay they have written in that malicious software they have written some code in a way that as soon as you guys gets installed and if you are active please message me like that okay and so this guy will come to know that how many machines are there active so what he'll do he will just instruct these machines okay that okay you send some 1 million request to this one you send 1 million request to this network you send 1 million requests to this network okay if the system's capacity is itself 1 million okay but you are getting you know 10 million requests okay and there is uh, no such uh, systems in a way that not this this guy doesn't send all at a time but he will be sending say you know five for one one minute another five for another minute another five for, if he's having like you know one lakh machines compromised okay so he will put all his energy on uh, bringing down these machines by sending you know like uh, if he if he's compromised one lakh machines okay if each machine sends only two to are less than uh, 10 
okay that means nine or five or something like that even one if it sends per minute one lakh machine means hundred thousand okay say for example here example each system itself hundred ten thousand ten thousand is the capacity per second or per minute say for example okay so you will be like one tenth of it uh, uh one tenth of it is the capacity but you are sending like hundred percent traffic from only the bot bots okay but this guy is not in a position uh to handle that so the normal user has come for some kind of you know uh the request uh like some purchase or to do something so when he reaches the network the servers are all busy and this guy uh, is shown up with the uh, five five x error okay that is um like server error this happens all the time this is the majority main 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 you know like the attack that is happening on the organization this you should remember okay so okay for that to resolve it what we need okay so this this these guys will be there forever okay but we have to do business how we can do it okay so for understanding that okay what they have done is just here in your network in your organization they can use something called as a r b o r a r b o r a r b o r r bar okay which is d dos mitigation tool if they ask you anyone in the interview that do you know what is meant by r bar or do you have any uh, knowledge on ddos mitigation tools you have to tell that yes i have some knowledge on r bar okay like that you have to say i have not worked on it but we will be seeing the activities that are happening on the arbor okay that uh, the ddos mitigation any alerts if they come those alerts uh, those notifications we will receive like that you can say okay so what is the main target of the arbor what is the main objective of the arbor is if anyone is sending the malicious traffic from the internet okay to perform ddos attack on your organization as assets okay a copy of it will pass through here and another one copy will be sent to the arbor arbor ha has got some intelligence this is a very 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 costly device you have to pay hundreds of millions per year for having this software this is for sure hundreds of i'm not talking about tens of millions sometimes it requires hundreds of millions okay because without arbor kind of tools it's very difficult to you know sustain the business nowadays by big, big organizations because um <coughs> ddos tool nowadays how they are using it as like you know for ransom earlier what they used to do if you see uh, like somalia or any other uh, nations okay uh, you might be seeing like you know the uh, the black sea whatever like the the egypt whatever the few days before some ship has got stuck right from there uh, like you know the from the egypt to like europe and asia where it meets okay from there if it if you uh, oman and yemen is there right from there if you come down you get into some kind of uh, you know like before you reach uh, india and reach you know the chinese all these regions now the these coastal area people what they used to do the ships which are passing through that uh, near to them okay they will just go and hijack this ship and uh, they will bring the ship and until some ransom is paid uh, they don't release this uh, ship okay so this is very bad okay uh, but they don't have any other choice they have they don't have any employment or anything over there that's their main job as of now <laughs> okay you cannot say anything about that okay so it's some political thing but uh, from, uh, from so and like because the goods is with these guys ship is there with these guys and uh, the person who is the uh, like the shipping company will pay ransom to these guys since this the crew and the ship is as uh, like they kept as hostage and they get them 
released okay the same thing happened few from last few days with uh, you know the ransom ransom thing with with some like where these attackers are doing for the data also okay it's so what they are doing is they are like attacking some machines and uh, mm, somehow they are encrypting the data after like sending some like you know malicious link or file to you once you click it will encrypt all your useful files in your c drive d drive all those things okay so uh, you you will have the operating system but uh, 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 the normal files like you know your your regular files pngs you are you know pdfs you you have some docs all those things will get converted into some database files everything will get converted into uh, some encrypted file okay so this is very danger okay so now 2017 okay a lot of attacks happened on this particular front ransomware 2017 18 uh, from 19 onwards awareness came and it got reduced that unnecessary links uh, sorry links uh, people's i mean like reduced in clicking them okay so so like the data hostage like you know uh, like p company has to pay a lot of money to get the decryption key of the data okay sometimes millions they have uh, uh, they have to pay okay so usually they will pay it in bitcoin or you know other cryptocurrencies anything okay so because you cannot find out where the money went because it is more like uh, when you pay in that format uh, it will be you know the anonymous kind of uh, uh, you know like you cannot track it okay uh, uh, could you everybody go on mute please okay so this is the thing so now what happened is the same thing whatever like people are very like you know they are not getting that much money from ransomware also even though if it is still it is high level uh, one of the most um, like the percentage of attacks when it comes by throughout the world was uh, whatever the attacks happens right ransomware is also is in in top but uh, apart from that uh, the ransom how it happened is for the big organizations now they moved the focus on like compromising a machine instead of that till they pay money they will be keep attacking okay the network of an organization the network of an organization so that these guys won't get any business because the normal customers are not getting the service to uh, use it okay so they cannot make any money so these guys will until you pay us some money we will keep attacking you guys and okay uh, like sometimes like few years before it was something different like your competitor might be like you know on a specific uh, time he was uh, trying to do some uh, uh, like or some some activist uh, who are like against some organization or uh, some you know like uh, uh, people uh, who had malicious intentions they used to just attack it for some time and they they used to leave it but uh, there was no such kind of ransom or anything uh, used to be there but now within last two years these guys are asking for ransom to stop these attacks okay so as long as when i mean like you don't pay the ransom uh, we will be keep attacking you uh, with this um, you know the with this uh, flood, with the flood of uh, the request from our uh, uh simulated uh, request from our uh, bot systems oh, yeah. yeah so these these systems will be keep getting uh generating the request and there will be like you know uh, unusable they'll become unusable for the normal users okay so to stop that like this arbor tool what it will do it will see from which ip it has come okay it will note it down okay in inside it's you know the software or some brain in it okay and then it will keep seeing each and every one copy will go here one copy it will be recording means like it will be analyzing that one copy what is happening what is happening so it will be checking the thresholds from each 
uh, uh, IP from where the traffic is coming. Um, what is the pattern of the traffic from that particular system? Okay, all these things this will be analyzing. Um, and if it like if it comes to know that from a specific you know like looks to be some kind of uh, denial of service these guys are doing or something like that it has got an intelligence in a way that it will block it will instruct the router to block the traffic okay from those ips okay it has got that kind of intelligence because they will use rate okay so many you know like uh, rate limit okay uh you know the that is my that that means like how many requests this guy is sending from last 15 minutes or 20 minutes okay and what kind of requests he's sending is there any uh like you know the sin request he has sent and then he has responded with sinac or not all such kind of things it will be looking at okay if this guy is only sending sin and if he's not sending uh, uh, but the server sends Synac and for that, if this system is not responded uh, with the ACK, then uh, this guy will be in, this guy's IP address will be instructed in our uh, perimeter router. That okay. Next time this guy has sent any SIN request, don't accept it. Just drop it like that. It will instruct to the router. Okay, so that the traffic doesn't even go to this uh, system, and it will be useful for. Uh, uh, these guys who are like the regular users so that it is mitigating the DOS traffic. Um, this happens in big organizations, but in small organization, if any such thing happens, okay, from multiple IPs, uh, if the attack will be happening, right, that time um, we will say like, uh, you know, DDoS uh, in progress kind of, you know, uh, you'll get some mails to the organization who are, responsible uh, for our bar and network related within the perimeter right okay they will get all notified okay our network team uh, and some monitoring teams knock team network operation center team SOC team will get an alert okay and also some management will also will get an alert okay so you will see it but you don't act on them just remember this okay and so that's not my intention okay i just want to tell you DOS attacks, DOS attacks will be there, which will be taken care by your, um, you know, the the Arbor team will take care of it. Okay, you need not to do anything for that. Okay, now, now the situation in, it will be in a way that you don't have the Arbor tool. Okay, because this is multi million dollar uh, like tool. Okay. So not every company follows, like uh, uses it, but at least you should be in a position to identify what is like, you know, DOS attack or something like that. Okay. So for that, if someone asks you to, you know, I have, they might ask you a question in a way that, hey, uh, you are telling that uh, uh, I, give me a second. Uh, 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 I have some kind of, you know, the, the, uh, okay. I have some kind of, you know, like uh, DOS attack in my organization. I don't have the R bar. So how I can actually uh, get resolve of, I mean, I have to resolve that DOS attack. You have two approaches. Okay. The first approach. Okay. The first approach you know, uh, is uh, first thing you should, you'll have the ISP, right? Internet service provider. Every internet service provider, like uh, forgetting the permissions from the uh, teleco, right? telecom department, right? Uh, of your federal or your governments, okay? You should be having some DDoS tool, okay? like kind of Arbor or so many other companies might be there. Okay, for us, just consider Ar Arbor. So you can rent, you can rent, you can rent, if, if, if Arbor is not here, you can rent the services of the ISP for DDoS mitigation. For DDoS mitigation, you can rent the, so they will be 
charged for this service okay they will be charged for service it's not something to protect the customers like mobile customers or the internet customers only they have for companies and all okay they don't provide any such security if you are a broadband customer if someone is bombarding ddos uh, uh, to your home router so it's their responsibility to stop it but if it is for a organization server then it is not their responsibility so you have to reach out to them and ask them that so what like we are facing continuously some did looks like we are facing some ddos attack okay uh, we would request you to look into it okay and then they will charge you some uh, uh, amount for that okay and they will give the protection for your system okay but say for example your organization is not ready to pay that thing as also uh, that thing also so you would like to know uh, at least ddos when it is in progress uh, you would like to know that uh, like at least identify it and manually try to mitigate it to whatever the extent because if it is a bigger the organization attack might be bigger smaller the attack uh, smaller the organization attack might be smaller or bigger so you don't know but at least you will try to uh, uh, you know solve that problem because if your company itself it is making every day uh, you know 10000 dollars example i'm just telling okay and the service if it is like from the isp or arbor if you, per, you have to purchase million anyhow uh, there is no chance to uh, buy it with this revenues um but this guy is telling okay uh, for every time when i give protection um you have to pay me ten thousand dollars means like your earning is gone okay so i don't want to do that okay let's let's try to simplify it in a way that okay let us only create some correlation rules in our sock environment that it identifies and let's get in touch with like after getting some alerts okay let's get in touch with firewall team and ask them to block those ips okay how we can do that okay so uh, that is also you know the simplest way very very simple way so i said uh, first you have to know the three way handshaking okay three have three way handshaking so that uh, you you will come to know it I, I i don't think i have explained it uh, for, for first user a sense uh, like this is a client and this is a server okay through internet what they will do they will uh, want to mm, get the web page okay uh, you know from the client machine uh, first you have to establish the connection in between them then you can send the request and you can get the response first the connection should be there okay then you send what what page you want and that page will be returned back to you or what type of uh, computer you would like to connect and that computer will be uh, available for you to access or if, what type of you know file transfer you want to do uh, for that uh, yeah the server will respond you like what kind of file transfer service you want so first connection has to be established to communicate with the server itself so that is called as transport control protocol will come into the picture okay so from this machine to this machine the tcp sin request will be sent okay sin request I, I would like to establish a connection with you okay server will send obviously boss i just received your request and this is my acknowledgement that is sin ack okay and you have to send a response that boss yeah i am ready to communicate with you let's i want to get this google page google.com web page for that yeah this is the web page what you have asked like that it is this is called as connection establishment sin sinac ack then after the request goes and then the response comes first transport has to establish connection has to establish transport transport connection has to establish before you do something okay i think uh, you guys are uh, you guys uh, uh, you guys are audible right my voice Yes, okay yes, fine sir. so this whatever it is there now simple don't think something big 
this DDoS tools that this are happening. Very, very simple. Just, just simple. Everyday things, okay? Oh, God. Oh, God. Just copy it. Let me copy it. Okay. What it does, attackers, what they are doing? They are sending SYN request. Okay. And server is sending ACK. Server is holding that record as a table. This IP has sent SYN request. This IP has sent SYN request. This IP has sent SYN request. Okay. That it is keeping. For that, I have sent SYN ACK response like that. Uh, the table it will be maintaining. The connection table it will be maintaining. Once the server responds right, SYN ACK. Okay. The DOS attack is mainly just send SYN request and don't, don't do anything. Don't do anything because if we this guy sends a response back means the connection will be like you know the get hit request has to be sent whatever like some connection request this is like for what i am requesting you i want this web page i want to connect with you for this file transfer i want to connect to this remote machine for that service definitely after ACK you have to send so if that is sent if that you have to do this machines anyhow uh, like uh, one lakh request you, you cannot send from these kind of machines they will be their machines only will get blocked so here what they will do they will just send sim request and you will get these attackers will get synac and they don't do anything like that from multiple times they will send only sim request only sim request they will do okay so they are not sending attack uh, they, they are not sending acts. Okay. So what you will write in your correlation rules, simple way you will write it in a way that if if a IP sends, okay, sin, okay, and your server responds with, okay, sin act, if there is not any response like from the ip for more than 15 minutes okay for uh, sorry 15 seconds okay more than 15 seconds just block further connections from that ip uh, sorry identify that uh not block sorry this we have to tell it to firewall team okay 15 seconds okay then if this kind of ips count like multiple IPs they will be sending, right? If how many, like if if there are like multiple, like say for example, 100 IPs are there, okay? Those IPs that are sending only SIM request and if they are not sending, uh, if they are not, after receiving the SYNAC, if they are not sending ACK for within 15 seconds, just check the count of how many requests those many, uh, uh, how many, uh, IPs count means like how many IPs such IPs are there within last 15 uh, you know like five minutes within last five minutes um, include all that uh, IPs uh, and uh, as you know the malicious and uh, consider them as you know the DOS attack or DDoS attack D DDoS attack so uh, as soon as you, if you get, you know, 10 or uh, if the IPs are greater than like, you know, 50, 50 IPs you got, which are sending uh, SYN request, but for the server SYN ACK response, they are not, they have not sent any ACK. So if such kind of, you know, the IPs are more than uh, 50, you observe within five minutes, that means it is a DOS attack. So you, if this gets this correlation, if this correlation, correlation, this is what we say correlation. We will uh, try to write this correlation rule after some time. If you find such kind of correlation rule, um, you will immediately write an alert. You will, you might, this is like alert correlation rule. Okay. So if you identify this, this will trigger an alert. 
you have returned to raise generator that can be a mail or it can be a you know like some script script means like for what purpose you are not going to write that script this script developers firewall team will write okay as soon as when this gets triggered this some firewall configuration which takes the ips of all the ips and it will be pushed to the um, firewall and firewall what it will do it will uh, keep that uh, ips under its black blacklist okay under its uh, block list if any traffic further traffic comes it just blocks that so every uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, every 5 minutes it will be checking how many of such ips are coming which are sent uh, sin request and uh, uh, which they have not sent any synac uh, uh, any ack response back for the synac uh, uh, server synac response so we are collecting them and we are uh, an alert will run a script or you will receive a mail or it creates a service now ticket on its own uh, all these things happens uh, in parallel uh, and you can also get a call also okay uh, there is a ddos uh, attack in progress just uh, it is an alert for you like that some ivr you will get alert is there uh, like that okay something okay so this actually helps you like with minimum amount because this is so simple but what happens is your presence might be required you are like keep updating your firewall rules uh, uh, not rules um, the the configuration of blocking the ips keep updating so this is a load on that load on firewall load on firewall that it will be keep updating the ips again and again and again but you cannot do anything because because you have to save money means you have to do this so some kind of you know performance reduction in the firewall you will be you will be able to see but uh, if someone ask you the interview question that boss i don't have any ddos mitigation tool and i don't want to pay it to the isp what is the easiest or what is the approach you follow you just tell them that they'll they, they there is no other approach other than this there is no other approach other than this to mitigate the ddos traffic okay in your organization okay oh, let me pause it for a while okay let me uh, show you how these attackers will do these attacks okay um uh, the dos it's like packet crafting right i mean yes, yes. Just... packet crafting tools but okay uh, attack okay so here it is okay uh, uh termask is uh, some terminal okay uh in in you know in in uh in kali linux okay use just that tool tell which is the uh system or the ip you want to target okay and how many requests per minute you want to uh, you know send those many sin requests to this machine this uh, you know that tool will send to that server so much simple it is got it right but if that is the case it will be only dos got it right because from your machine only all these sim requests are going okay ddos means little advanced okay these internally this sim request multiple systems like i have installed some software in the background i have without knowing to me my system internally sending some sin request it doesn't require anything sin request is just even small software is there like which takes internally without knowing to you some command has to be sent okay that is like tcp connection requesting that is sin request it has to be sent that packet crafting how much minute it takes you have so many packet uh, crafting tools are there our scripts are packet crafting okay so tcp crafting tools so many are there so many are there. so many are there 
okay secret sec tools uh, ip this bracket crafting program is there okay um so all these are all like you know so many tools are there if you can see so many things packet c is there if these tools they will just use it okay through command line also you have some options to send uh, um you know the the sin request okay with any server so it is not like uh, the end user will send it it's just some instruction that is some kind of you know the command that has to be executed to send that okay usually from your home machines you don't do that do those things um because it is like you know if your service provider identifies it he might disable your internet connection itself okay so don't go for uh, such tools okay uh, i Okay, okay. Uh, even uh, there's so many tools are there. Some services are there, some websites. Yeah, this one. Okay. So if you go to the websites, some websites, some, I don't think they have mentioned the name here, but it will be like this packages. Okay. If you pay them $55 in bitcoin okay uh like uh, you know uh, maybe like uh, uh, 220 gbps request per 600 seconds means those many sin requests for 600 seconds okay you will get it for you know uh, 44 dollars okay and uh, 34 dollars okay uh, like you have to pay 220 gb and uh, you you will get uh, you know 3600 uh, seconds uh, every every time the number of requests they push something like that they are selling it you know uh, these ddos related things as you know the services Okay, let me see. Uh, these are protection services, Akamai and all, Cloudflare and all. Uh, these are protection services. What they will do, okay, I will tell you. Okay, instead of whatever the traffic that is coming to your organization directly from the internet, Akamai, what they will do is, first traffic from the internet, whatever it goes, right? to the internet world okay they know that google.com is not you know the directly this router it is some akamai router somewhere here all the traffic go there and if the akamai if it identifies any the, the traffic is as uh, you know um, suspicious then the traffic will never send that forward that traffic to your organization if it is non ddos or non suspicious traffic then only it, it will allow so for protecting your organization from okay this kind of malicious actors okay who does uh, the um, who does these uh, uh, you know the the at ddos attacks okay so these companies have come into the picture two companies are mainly one is akamai and another one is cloudflare okay let me show you cloudflare uh, cloudflare is mostly into i mean uh, i mean cloud applications or it's for no no no, no 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 any anything normal company can also hire their services even mine is very small website okay i'll also use cloudflare okay it is uh, for sim small users it is uh, free but for bigger companies and all they'll be having charges okay okay like uh, let me log into this
I think I forgot or I don't know. Um, give me a second. So this is my website and I'm also using the Cloudflare. Okay. Just select you which are the website. Okay. They give different kinds of services these, these days. I don't want my, uh, where my web pages are getting stored, right? I don't want the traffic directly should come to that particular location. What I want is the traffic has to first go to the cloud fair and then it has to analyze my data. And then after that, if it is that like, it is the genuine website, then only it has to be forwarded to my, you know, the, my, my, my website. Okay. So that I'll be protected. So they give all kind of, you know, the services, you know, you, if you aren't any, uh, I don't have any WAF or any load balancer or anything. Okay. But I want those services. Okay. That also I can hire them. Okay. Uh, or I can like any DDoS or anything. I, I, if I want, I can reach out to these guys. Okay. So it is not only the cloud. It is like in your organization, you have a web server. In that particular web server, if they have any websites, Okay, for those things, just you have to provide, you know, some kind of, you know, the configurations like this, okay, uh, something like this, okay, so you can actually provide your servers where it is and all everything over here, so they will traffic when it comes, first comes to the cloud fair, and then it will go to this location where my web server is there, my main web pages are there, okay, so uh this is how you are going to get protected in real world okay even big big organizations they use the services of akamai or cloudflare for sure 100% okay so that they are stop they are they are containing the problem 50% there then the filtered thing coming to your organization and then they have some arbor and other tools are there again whichever getting escaped over there are getting caught over here okay so like that okay got it right hmm?